Dear students, this screencast lecture is entirely devoted to cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria are first formed oxygenic photosynthetic organism. That is the whole world has been oxygenated mainly after the evolving of cyanobacteria. So they are the oldest life forms of 3.5 billion years ago. That is the time at which the life of started originating. They have a high genetic flexibility that is they can able to live in extremes of temperature. They can live in an aquatic environment to a hyper arid and even sometimes in the saline lands also you can able to come across the cyanobacterial presence. The cytoplasmic membrane of cyanobacteria is infolded and they form into a lamellae like structure. They are the one in which the chlorophyll molecule, that is chlorophyll A molecule, which is required for photosynthesis has been present. They also possess different kinds of accessory pigments that helps in effectively gathering the solar radiation. So these pigments are collectively referred as phycobilin that includes phycocyanin and phycoerythrin. Due to the presence of this pigment, especially the phycocyanin, that gives a characteristic blue color to this cyanobacteria. They are also referred as blue-green algae or blue-green cyanobacteria. Size of the cyanobacteria generally ranges from 0.5 to 1 micrometer in diameter and 60 micrometer in length. They store the, they store the fixed carbon as a starch and nitrogen is also stored as cyanofficium granules. The reason is they can also able to fix nitrogen. Excess nitrogen is stored as a cyanofficium granules. So apart from fixing carbon and nitrogen, they also produces mucilaginous sheath that is high mucilage containing structures which prevents desiccation that is preventing water loss. They binds and chelates sharp grains, sands and mineral in the soil in arid and semi-arid regions along with other mosses and lichens. They form as a surface crust there in the soil, mainly by binding the soil particles by organic materials that have been produced due to their metabolism. And this kind of a cyanobacterial crust are referred as cytobiotic crust. They play a role in soil stability and protects the soil against erosion process. As I already told, they can able to fix carbon dioxide into cell carbon and they can also able to fix nitrogen into ammonia. So this nutrient addition there into the soil can able to increase the soil fertility. The dominant group of cyanobacterial genera that are commonly come across in soil includes Crococcus, Aponocapsa, Lingbaya, Oscillatoria, Formidium, Microcolius, Cytonema and Fisherella. Some cyanobacteria found to possess heterosis, some special structures in which the nitrogen has been fixed. These heterosis are some thick walled cells in which there won't be any chance for oxygenation that is photosynthesis won't be taking place only nitrogen is fixed in these localities. So this kind of cyanobacteria are commonly present there in the rice paddies or in the rice field. A classical example is anabina. So far we have seen the beneficial properties of cyanobacteria but there are certain cyanobacteria that can able to produce potential neurotoxin including anatoxin, cecitoxin, microcystin, a kind of a toxin produced by microcystis and nodularins. So these are all various neurotoxins that may be produced there by cyanobacteria living in marshy environment. So in these places if the cattle or buffalo go for taking water that may create a potential danger to those animals. Another potential problem associated with the multiplication of cyanobacteria in the water bodies is related to algal blooms. That is huge population of cyanobacteria formed in a water bodies mainly when nutrients such as phosphorus has been available in a huge amount. 
So this process can be something similar to that of the eutrophication thing. Here, aponozominon flas aqua and anabina flas aqua are two different kinds of cyanobacteria that are commonly associated with the blooming in the water bodies. They produce certain substances that gives the earthy odors there, especially the geospin. This geospin we have seen earlier also that it has been produced by actinobacteria. The next point is related with the agricultural use of cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria is also referred as a blue-green algae. Tamil Neela Pachai Pasi Abdin Chulwanga. It has been applied there in the paddy soils that we have already seen. What is the common cyanobacteria that can be come across in the soil includes Nostac, Anabena, Tolipotrix, Cytonema and Cylindrospermum. These are all actively participate there in the nitrogen fixation. They can able to fix nitrogen at a level of 20 to 30 kilogram per hectare per year. Next we look at into the classification of the cyanobacteria. Here the cyanobacteria is divided into five groups. Group 1 consists of unicellular single celled organism that commonly divide by binary fission. They form cell aggregates also. Here the examples includes gliotheca and cynicoscoccus. The second one is a unicellular produce spherical cells called as a biocytes. We will see the explanation for biocyte later. These are all dividing cells. They divide by multiple fission. Sometimes they can able to form the pleurocapsulian forms also. The next group comprises of filamentous heterocystous form. They are also referred as a nostocalian forms. Examples includes anabina, nostac and cylindrospermum. The fourth one is filamentous non heterocystous form that divide by binary fission in a single plant or they are also referred as a oscillatorian form. Example includes oscillatoria and spirulina. And the fifth one is branching filamentous form. The typical example includes fissurella and stygonema. Now we look at into certain special differentiated structures that could be observed in the typical cyanobacterium cells. Gas vesicles. They are spindle shaped structures. They clusters as a vesicles. They together constitute the gas vacuoles of the cells. Their main property is to confer buoyancy that is the floating ability of the cell over the surface. The next one is heterosis. It is a differentiated cyanobacterial cells that is a vegetative cell get differentiated into thick walled heterocystous cell. They lack the photosystem too that is they cannot able to fix carbon dioxide but they has a special property of fixing nitrogen into ammonia that is biological nitrogen fixation that has been mediated by the nitrogenous enzyme. Third one is harmogonia structure. They are the filaments of cyanobacteria that usually break off from the main filament and form into some small pieces. Their main function is they help in a mode of dispersal or reproduction of the cyanobacterial cells. The next structure is echinids or echinids. They are specialized non-motile, dormant, thick-walled resting cells mainly protects against the desiccation and cold conditions. And final one is the biocytes. The biocytes refers to differentiated small spherical motile or non-motile endospore like reproductive cells produce after multiple fission in certain groups of cyanobacteria. They are specifically produced in the pleurocapsin form of cyanobacteria.